Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make Roblox renders. So for this tutorial, you will need Roblox Studio and Blender. For this like version, I'm going to use Blender 2.81. I will show you how to get both of them in this video. So first you want to get Roblox Studio. You could just go into um, Google and search up Roblox Studio download or I will put a um, download link in the description. And this is on Mac. I'm doing this on Mac. You can do the same thing on Windows. Now, first thing you want to do is open Roblox Studio. You want to go to Base Play. Then you want to press Manage Plugins if you do not have Already Pro's Load Character Plugin. I'm going to make my own um, uh, render today. So I'm just going to enter my username. So you can see here, my user. You want to spawn R15. With the spot at origin X. Want to make sure that. Then you want to just position yourself to your um, character. You want to press if you you if you have a trackpad, you just use right click and then just move. So yeah, now you have this. Now you're like, how do I you know make a wave position or something? No, if you have an arthro character, what you want to do is. Press human. I press this on um, little thing. Now, if you're on Mac, you want to accept this. Then press command, and then you want to select everything else. And it just made it one inch shorter because I keep my avatar um, like one inch shorter. Now, now you have this. No, you're like yes, but how do I make it a wave position? Because I've been asking this for the past ten years. Okay, what you want to do then is open this animation editor it comes with roblox to do so you're fine it's literally after plugins folder if you don't have any plugins but you want to press animation um animation editor then it says no animations exist for this rig please create one then you want to just select this press create and this weird thing will come up and you're like how do i remove um like how do i do this so basically, you want to do this. I'm just going to use this because it gives you everything here. There's three parts to your hand. The top one is the where you, you actually move your full entire hand. This one is where you... Like... Oh shoot. Um, you can like bend it. You can see here. Like, you can just bend it. And yeah. So once you just position yourself, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do a wave position, but you can do any position you like, so yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Now, sometimes your legs can be a little too wide, so what you want to do for that, you want to just, if you wanted to, you can do a running position, like, on a position this one sideways, you want to do this, and then, there you go, and you're like, can I bend it a little? And you're like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. It's your GM render. By the way, I did forget to mention that you do need a Mac, Windows. You can't do this on phone, unfortunately. But I will do a tutorial on how to do this on phone, but it won't look as good. Like, if you know what I'm saying, because, like, phone has less specs and stuff, you know, if you're, you know what I mean. But there you go. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And sometimes you're like, how do I get a custom face? Now, want to go to it? Meshes. Meshes, right? I press the wrong one. Um, you want to just go to images. Right click a face, or you can just find one. You want to right click, copy asset ID. You want to go down here. Go to head. Click on face. And where it says text, you want to just press um, delete, copy that in, and there you go. I just have mine. And there you go. See, I have a custom face. Now, if you're like, oh, wait, um, I just um, did a wrong face, you want to press Command Z if it worked. But that's the undo one. But like, if you wanted a, your old one, you could just go to Roblox.com. Go to the um, catalog and just copy the copy the numbers in the link. Only the numbers and just paste that in. So yeah, this one is not really bent, so I'm just gonna do this. This is only the first part, guys. You're not done yet. Okay, so now you're done. 
You're like, how do I export it? You're like, want to press this, anchor, right click, export selection. Well, then, want to press desktop. Then you're like, save as, I don't know, I'm just going to just, okay, let's going to do this. Save. And that's your first part done. I'll meet you. So if you made it to this part, congratulations, have a cookie. So yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, like, subscribe, share it with your family and friends, turn on that bell, and yeah, Blender is coming up. So you might you might as well just get Blender while you're right here. So yeah, pause the video and come back when you have Blender. We're gonna do the second part. You get if you launch a Blender, you're gonna see this. Now I am going to um, provide a download link for Blender, Roblox Studio, and pretty much everything else. But you see this cube, and you're like, "How do I get rid of this cube?" You want to press X, and it, it'll ask you, "OK," and delete. You want to press Enter, it's gone. Then you want to go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ. Now I don't want wait. Yeah, so I want to open Desktop. I'm gonna open that, and there you go. Now, how do I move? Right clicking doesn't move, left clicking just does that. What I want to do is Shift F. You, you heard that. Shift F. And now you want to rotate your uh, character or your camera. Now you're like, this is great. How do I fix this? You want to go up here where my mouse is. And you want to see viewport shading. And the color is here. Now we're gonna experiment with lighting. Now a GFX doesn't make itself. You could right now just get the camera and do that, but we're not gonna do that because I wouldn't really like that. So it's gonna um, not do that at all. And yeah, okay. You wanna go here and then press the. Um, the circle beside view portraiting, which is the empty one. Want to press that? Now you can see all lighting. Now, if you really wanted to, you could go here, press ambient occlusion. That gives a real life effect. If you know what I'm saying, this will work. See, you could see the shadows. Why is it like this? It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Now. You're like, yeah, but how do I add lights? This is your main light. You want to press in the right, uh, left corner. Move. Okay, so there's the, your light, and you can move it where it is. Like, if you if you like it, you like it. Now, that's your first light. If you want, you can make another light if you, if you like how it looks right now. So. You, this is what you always need. This is like the one first thing you actually need. It's your rim light, which it, which pretty much means your back light or like your, the light at your back, which it just makes it stand out. Eh. So yeah, why don't press this, the green light? And you know how it's ten watts. Make it ten thousand. Wow, that's a lot. You're like that's a lot, but it's at the back, so no one will pretty much notice. And it's giving that nice glowy effect. If you don't think it's right, I'm gonna press this. That and there you go. And yes, I did forget to mention you want to pick the um the point, the point light. So you're like, okay, this is done for now. So if you want, I'm I'm not gonna add any less for like the sake of the video. But like, if you want to add more, you want to press add light and never pick any of these three you want to press point and there you go so i'm just gonna move this you can move it here but like it won't really look as good but if you want you can make it a million but it looks weird it doesn't look that bad okay that's actually that actually looks cool so we're gonna go with that i'm gonna press this camera shift f and yeah this is pretty much it it's not done yet you want to go here to this um, where you clicked um, ambient occlusion, film, transparent, and now uh, if you want to square, I recommend doing 2000 by 2000. I well, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. There it is. There is your Roblox render. So 
whenever I upload this, probably gonna be next week after recording. So we'll see you then. See you in the next video, guys. I am. Um, if you have any, again, if you have any questions, please comment them. I will reply. Um, you can reply in two years later, and I will probably reply if I get a notification. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I might have like a segment after this. I really don't know. <laughs> bye, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. Why am I saying bye? No. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Okay. What you want to do is do this. Then you want to press render, render image, Not render animation, but like it's rendering right here. Before you could see how it's rendering, now in Blender 2.1a1 it does it way faster. So we're just going to wait for this, and if it works, it works, but it should work for you guys. And there it is! There is a Roblox Blender! So then you want to press image, save as, if it would come up. It's not coming up, help me. Save as. Oh. Okay, there it is. Desktop. Renders 2020. This is where I keep my renders. I have a special folder. Here is all my um, renders. And if you don't want to make one or you don't know, just DM me on Discord or Twitter and you can buy one uh, render for me for only 10 Robux. It's that cheap. Now, I'm gonna render this. Save the image. And it's done. Done and dusted. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah.